doing a um, back deck, putting in the post now. Which way? This is fucking amazing! Hello, welcome back to Something Deadly. Uh, today I have the privilege of filming from Yelanji country, which is... Um, so uh, the part of the rainforest mob up here, so the Yelanji mob is um, the Bloomfield River, which is where we're located at the moment, and around Cooktown to kind of Cape Tribulation, which is the Daintree Rainforest, um, which is an amazingly beautiful place, and we pass through the Daintree on our way up. Yeah, so today, well, this week, basically, we uh, this episode's going to go over rebuilding this whole boat, this whole massive pirate ship which is called the Shriulu and um, uh, a lady Erin has bought it and we're helping her redo it and then helping her sail it around and get it ready because she wants to take it back to Ballina eventually and live on it but yeah we're just going through um, building that whole back deck on the boat which you might have seen in an early episode and just stripping it clean of everything cleaning it making sure all the ropes and sails and rigging's all good and yeah just going over the whole boat and making sure it's ready to sail eventually we've been here for two weeks now and we've been smashing it so um yeah i'll just let you watch all of that footage of us absolutely going ham at this boat and rebuilding it which is pretty awesome so yeah i hope you enjoyed this episode and check it out yeet Oh, watch out there, dog. Baby. So we began our day by stocking up on some good old coconuts. We probably drank over like 100 coconuts on this trip and they were delicious. Picked up some wood, old mate. Hell yeah. Build the old back deck. So the original owner of the boat was this old guy named Pete who used to live here on the Bloomfield. He's passed away now, unfortunately, but that's how Aaron has bought the boat. Uh, he first got the boat built in Borneo about 55 years ago, and it was out of this old, beautiful Borneo hardwood. So when we were coming up with the design to build the back deck, we wanted to keep it in that tradition of old hardwood. And we knew Pete lived uh, just up the hill, so we went to his place um, with the permission from his best mate, Kim, and we got lots of his hardwood that he had laying around and we built it out of all this recycled material which was actually really awesome to do and it felt good to keep in that tradition of you know keeping the boat what it's supposed to look like his house was also beautiful it was this totally off-grid shed that was run by solar and he had his own water tank and gardens and everything that you could dream of and it was just nestled right up in the hills of the rainforest and it was absolutely stunning Back deck time. We're doing um back deck, putting in the posts now. Oh, old man Harry's off. He's done. He's had a big day. <laughs> he's off to have some tea. It's 10, 10 o'clock now. He's done. Yeah, we're putting this shit in. Key's got that fucking weapon. is have a nut already on there and then this should have been up higher but you basically just thread the nut from the rod off and it fixes up your thread from where you've grinded it ah. okay uncle give us an update we got heaps of shit happening <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're building the back deck and um, it's getting there except we've run out of everything so we're using nothing to build with <laughs> um, it's a sick it's a sick little area 
And then it's on that angle so the water goes down that way. Get in there mate, get in there. Alright, let's put this one on. What have you guys been doing down here? We've been um, scraping and vacuuming all of the dirt that's stuck to the walls and um, giving it a good scrub with some um, iron clean. Some Can't you tell how <laughs> fresh it smells? It smells like a new house. Front section, um, and we're just working our way backwards. So nice. Getting there. And we just found Pete's old uh, celestial navigation chart and book, which is really cool. Um, celestial navigation. Yeah. Which we'll have to take it out and try it because a mm. lot of the things are. A lot of the maps and things of this Whoa. area are rotten. But That's skits. Where was the somewhere? I think maybe on this side. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Salt reef. Here, Starfinder and identifier. And we found one of his hairs, so I popped it in here. How did you find that? His hair? Oh, it's everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> that looks good. Pretty much like that. All to standard, all to code. So after a solid couple of days work, we got the bracing done and it was Harry's idea to make it uh, the way it is, how all the weight is kind of pushed up against the stern of the boat and on those two beams that run out. Uh, we just didn't want too much extra weight out the back and cause stress on those beams. And yeah, we just had a beer and had some lunch and just appreciated the architecture of the thing we just built and dreamed about how useful it's gonna be once we're sailing out there and just how much better it was gonna be than that old bamboo structure that was on it. It was just ridiculous. This is Kay's new rig. He reckons. Bit of bog, mate. Bit of builder's bog. No worries. <laughs> Straight up plywood, eh? Fuck yeah, mate. You were right. Yeah, you wouldn't want to do that. Nah. No thanks. That's another disadvantage of cats or multi hulls is the slapping. Yeah. <laughs> right there, I suppose. I reckon that's it. Where's Mr. Crocodile? Like? Hopefully not here. Uh, Uncle, we're looking for the up ramp. <laughs> Do you perhaps know where it is? <laughs> oh, that is. <laughs> hey, young fella, get off that boat. You. You alright? Come on, get up, get up boy. Fucking muddy. You'll be right, get up there. <laughs> well look, there's fish just there. What was that? <laughs> so 
after work, me and Kia went for a cruise down the river to have a look at this sailboat that was for sale to dream up our own adventures one day. <laughs> Uh, and then we had a little fish on dusk, which, you know, typically as a spearfisher, we didn't get anything. Yep. Leave it slow. Slowly does it. Snapped him. Shit! Sleeping in the old boat tonight. And yeah, uh, when we decided to leave, our motor didn't start, and I was like, oh no, we're gonna get stuck here on this sandbank with all the big bitey green logs around. It started perfect before our first go. When I got back to the boat, it did smell a bit fuel-y, didn't it? But eventually we got away. <laughs> and went and had a good night's rest to go do more work the next day. Yay. Well, hello. You're probably wondering why the video has not ended. Well, I wanted to make sure that you subscribe to the channel and follow the Instagram for daily photos and more behind the scenes. Okay, good day.